Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Midnight Show. So saying as tomorrow is technically the most romantic day of the year, I have recorded one of my softer sided stories for you to listen to. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And for now, sit back, relax and enjoy the Midnight Show. I'll be waiting. I sit here in the dark watching her sleep. She is so beautiful. How did I ever get so lucky? The street light throws a soft glow into the room. It allows me to see her that little bit more clearly. She's wearing the penguin pajamas I bought her at Christmas a few years ago. She loves them, but I don't know why. I've had a number of girlfriends over the years, but never one like her. She never once gave me any reason to doubt why I loved her, and that made me love her even more, if that is possible. The very first time I laid eyes on her, it was amazing. It wasn't, oh my god you're so beautiful, or I want you now, or anything like that. It was just, you're perfect. I don't know if she felt the same, she never said. But when I asked her out, she said yes, right away and her smile was as wide as mine. After that, the rest is history, and never once did we argue. It was love in its truest form. She turns around in the bed. The movement reveals to me that she's holding my old t-shirt, my favorite old t-shirt. I didn't know that she did that. I like it, it makes me smile. She doesn't know I'm here. If she did, I don't think the tears will stop. It's been six months since she last saw me. Business took me away, but if I had have known the price back then, I never would have left her. I want to wake her up so much, tell her I'm right here. I want to jump into bed beside her and tell her how much I've missed her, to talk to her, to hug her, to kiss her. But I'm not allowed to do any of that. There are strict rules I have to abide by. Morning has come quicker than I'd expected. I have to leave again soon. No matter how much I want to stay here, these rules cannot be broken. The alarm rings out. A tired hand reaches over and hits the snooze and then falls back on the bed again. Eight minutes later, the clock goes off. This time, she sits up on the bed before switching it off. She raises my t-shirt to her nose and breathes deeply. Could my stance still be there after all this time? She is sad as she lowers the t-shirt. A few tears well up in her eyes but she quickly wipes them away and throws her legs out of bed. She walks around the bed. Penguins are dancing towards me. They pass by oblivious to my presence. But what was I expecting to be honest? I watch as she goes into the ensuite and turns on the shower. I don't think her morning routine will ever change. I can hear them calling now. It's time for me to go. A light descends in the corner of the room and I have no choice but to go into it. Goodbye my love, I'll be waiting. That's it guys, thanks for listening. I hope you liked what you heard, and if you did, leave a comment, let me know. Um, it's always good to hear feedback and what people think of the stories. In the meantime, if you'd like to hear more, or read more even, then my books, Love's Course and Strings are available to buy on Amazon. I'll be back next, you see. Until then, EOI.